All right, guys, so this video takes place in my home county, at least home now, Greene County, Indiana. As many of you will know, I've recently gotten a traffic ticket out of Greene County. So I was here today at court to, you know, see what was going on. They just gave me this date, which was April 29th, and I was just here to see what was going on. When I get here, you'll see what happens. If you want to, do you want to pay the ticket or do you want to buy um, the ticket? I definitely don't agree with the ticket, man. Okay. Go to the magistrate court office to request a court date. Where do I do that? In here? One floor up. If you hop on the elevator, hit number one. Yep. Come back this direction like you're going out the door. You'll see the magistrate chambers in there. Those Just tell them. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. Hi. I just need a court date for a uh, traffic ticket. They told me that I do that up here. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to have the citation number by chance? No. Uh, Which name have you? You're prepared for me, huh? have all the tickets okay cool <laughs> so i just need you to fill this out and then i'll get you a court date and actually since you're here i can go ahead and give you the paper so we don't have to mail it what is this all about Yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't waive my constitutional rights. So I'm not signing this. While I was reading this paper later, I realized it wasn't asking you to sign away your constitutional rights, merely your right to be informed of your constitutional rights. Regardless, she informed me that I would need to sign the paper before I got a court date, which was false. I can sign another paper if you want me to like that says... I consent to having my, you know, trial set for this day, but I'm not signing away my constitutional rights. That's insanity. Does everybody do that that comes in here? We need to get this paper changed because that's unacceptable. If they're wanting to contest it, then that's the paper they fill out. There's nothing in the Constitution that says when you go to trial, you waive your constitutional rights. That's why I plead the fifth on the stand is such a big thing. I don't waive my constitutional rights. I'll sign another paper, but you guys don't need me to waive my constitutional rights to set a court date. That's crazy. And if the judge wants to come out here and talk to me about this, like she, you know, they can, but I'm definitely not signing that. I'm trying to get me to sign some bull crap. That ain't happen. Have their paper right back. Let's just show you guys again. Waiver of initial hearing and denial. I, the undersigned, hereby acknowledge that I am the defendant in the, in the above entitled case wherein I am charged with the offense slash ordinance violation. So, if you want, you can um, put something in writing to the judge requesting a hearing for your ticket. And if you don't want to sign that. So now she says, if I don't want to sign the paper, then I have to write something to the judge requesting a court date. Only problem with that is it would probably take her a few days to get to it, or him, whoever the judge is, and the last day to pay the ticket was the day I was here at the court. So if I had done this, there would have either been a default judgment passed on the issue, or there would have been a warrant out for my arrest for failure to appear. That's crazy. Just set me up for a hearing. Every other county I get set up with just, it just happens immediately. This is the only county I've encountered that does this, but it says waiver of initial hearing and denial. The reason it says that is because I've got a right to that. Today's the last day to pay the ticket. If I don't pay it by today and I don't get a trial, there's going to be a warrant out for me. So let's just give me a court date and I'd like a paper saying that I have a court date set. That's all crazy. This is a setup to get me thrown in jail or to get me to plead guilty to this ticket. I'm not doing that. Let's just get my court day set. You guys don't need my consent to do any of that. This is craziness, honestly.
If this is what the judge has everyone do, I might have to request a different judge after the hearing is set as well. And this is crazy. We got corruption all the way up to the top in this courthouse, guys. It ain't nothing new. All right, yes, yeah, so let's go back here. So I hereby waive my right to be advised by the court of the penalties for the offense slash ordinance violation and of my constitutional rights. If you just want to put in, I deny it. I mean, but I, I'm pretty sure I got to be in front of the judge to do that. Thank you. And who's in charge of that form coming to everybody? Is that the judge that has that happen? Yeah. Okay. Who is what what judge is that? Is that um Mrs. Martin? No. It's Judge Rudisville. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, if you could just, uh, I don't know, tell him that a concerned citizen requested that that not be done anymore. If it's totally not necessary, I'd appreciate that. Okay. Great. You too. That shit is insane. So now for a little backstory about the Greene County Clerk's Office. So I called them to ask when my court date was going to be set, and they said that I had to call a different number. They said they could give it to me, but they didn't want me typing it in my phone because it annoyed them. So I said, well, let me grab a pen and paper. To which one of them responded, well, you should already have it. <laughs> so then I told her, you know, that's extremely rude, and she just hung up on me. This is what I'm here to investigate today. Hi. Uh, which one of it was, what one of us uh, in this office was the one that was hanging up on the gentleman for not getting the pen and paper fast enough? Not getting the pen and paper fast enough. Yeah, it was like I didn't want to, didn't want to type it in on the phone because I knew that annoyed somebody in this office. And then they proceeded to hang up on me right after that, so. Why are you wanting to know? Because the gentleman was me. I'd like to file a complaint on the person, so who was that that did that? Do you know? Was it was it you or was it you? No. Okay. Well, I don't know until I know who did it. Okay, so we're not going to be hanging up on people anymore for annoying them. I'm just wondering, guys, we work for the public in this office. Mm -hmm. The public are the customers. If any other business hung up on their customers. Um, do, you have, do you have a cell phone? And I think our sign says no cell phone use. That's fine. That sign, there's no law behind that sign. I just follow the law. Posted, so if you want to put your cell phone away because we do have a posted no cell phone No, thank you. I'd just like to know, I mean, this is the deal. The public's got, they got kind of. Well, we do see that you have your cell phone out. Yeah, I, I'll, I will bust it out for you guys all to see so that we can see you all. I mean, I am not concerned about that sign. I think that the police know. I just want to know who it was that was hanging up on me when I called a few weeks ago. Okay. So is everybody besides the clerk who works here in the office today? Okay, so are we all lying and covering, or is just one of you lying? Because it wasn't the gentleman in the back. It was a it was a gal. So we aren't owning up to it, girls? Uh, we're doing our work right now, so... Right, right, yeah. Is there something that we can actually help you with? Yeah, you guys could just assure me that that ain't going to happen again. That's happened to me literally. I've called three times. It's happened to me two of the times. That's a massive problem. Maybe you guys should do your jobs and serve the public. What we were trying to do, and you didn't mention to him when you called it, and it happened twice. Just 
Well, it wasn't necessary to mention that it happened twice. I don't believe it's necessary. I think that, I think, was it you? Because it sounds like you. Yeah, it sounds like it was you. I don't remember hanging up on anybody. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Right, yeah, I get you. Um, so, that's fine now. At first, I was worried it was just one person, but now I'm afraid it's the whole damn crew. So, all right, y'all. Uh, other gentleman in the back's doing a good job. So, yeah, we're going to have to, I hate to say, this isn't working for the public. We don't appreciate this at all. The, pu the public appreciates this. This is holding the people that work for us accountable. Can we have posted here, no cell phone use in the office. He has a cell phone now. Okay. Can you see that? I can't enforce the cell phone. Okay. I informed her that, man. Sorry that she called you. Okay. Harassed everyone Nobody's harassed, and I'm just redressing my grievances with my government. And it has been spoken. You have spoken your mind. Okay, so you guys are going to confirm with me that you're not going to just hang up on anybody who you don't like. It has nothing to do with not liking anyone. If we, are, we don't have to take being rude to or... Nobody was being rude. All right, now I need a public records request. Let's get that public records request. A public records request. Those are done through the county attorney. So I need to go up there to get it? But he is not here today. Yeah, you can go okay, to then the this is the way this works. I do this everywhere. Uh, IC code 5-14-3 says that every public servant has the responsibility to provide me with a form that I fill out for a public record. That's fine. I'm here right now. No need to go to the county website. Anything, if you refuse me that piece of paper, that would be in violation of IC code 5-14-3. So I'm going to need either a blank piece of paper or the actual request form right now. And what was your name, miss, just so I know who I'm requesting the calls of? Pardon me? What was your name, miss? My name's Becky. Becky, okay. Nobody else in here is named Becky, are they? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Hi. Is the prosecutor in today? No, well, we got three of them. Okay. I just need to, whoever is the actual elected prosecutor, I just need to, to speak with him if he's available. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Um, you can give him a public records request for me. Uh, do you have a piece of paper for me? I could fill that one out. I'm wanting to get um, his whole, I'm wanting to get the report involved with not charging George Dallaire with battery, and I also want to receive why, the information as to why he did not feel it necessary to charge him with battery. Okay, so you have a complaint for him, Switcher? Nope, just want to know why. I'm not saying he did anything wrong or anything like that. I just simply want to, yeah. Well, let me give you the paperwork and I'll bring it out to you. Sounds good. Awesome. And then just pull out, there's two pages. Okay. And then just bring it up whenever you're. you're All right. Finished. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. And I mean, is this, what is this form actually for it, here? It's for something for the prosecutor to look into okay. if you have a concern so I can just, type of okay. thing. You're welcome to sit down over there. Yeah, I'm just going to write out it on it though, public records request, just so he knows okay. exactly what it's That's about. Fine. All right. Thank you though. Appreciate you. Here I was thinking you ladies are just trying to do your job in the other room. Are you in here are you in here conversating with these fine gals? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well don't don't tell me you're trying to do your job if that's what you're doing next time. Have a good day. That's what we're doing. Thank you. That's what you're doing? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, yeah, no, my bad. I must have uh 
I must have gotten those two offices mixed up. I thought they're, you're... they're one and the same. We work together. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you're very welcome. The new Freedom Rhyme shirt is available now on Spring. Be sure to get yours now. Also, consider becoming a member of our channel for perks like members badges, emojis, members only live chats, and an early access video every week. Do that by pressing the join button below. All merchandise can be found at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.